You, you made me do what I was not allowed to do. You have broken me. What in the world just happened? Elizabeth, Green Boots, where are you? I can hear them. Hey! We are fine, I think. You d d disappear with the puzzle guy. Are you invisible now? <gasps> are you ghosts? It's uh very hard to describe, to be honest. They're in his dimension now. I don't fully comprehend the nature of that creature's powers either. But, if my theories are correct, he can't physically interact with our world. That's why he uses words and deception to manipulate us from his realm. Ugh. So if he can't hurt them here... Yes, he probably can do anything in his dimension. He has been pulling our strings for far too long. We are going to stop him. Don't wait for us. Ah, uh, Be careful. Whee! This must have been fun to program. <laughs> but yes, Bill Cipher. Or, there's a different uh, number of different characters like this. I like them. <laughs> to get 3D. Ooh, the sounds. There he goes. After him. We are not going back that way. Oh. Right bumper, left bumper. Oh, so we're navigating a maze? Whoa! What the heck did you just do, kid? Whatever happened, that creep attacked us must have given you some sort of new power. I'm getting so dizzy right now. But don't mind me. Just keep after him. They're probably not used to being anything other than side-scrolling. You know what I mean? Yep. Wait, what is that saying on the wall? Make sprite color alpha M. Oh, it's so it's, it's the code. just code. It's the code. Yeah. It's the code of the game. Yeah, so we want to collect all of our potions. as many potions as possible. For obvious reasons. Left it. Mm -hmm. Awkward. Well, that's because you can still only go right and left. Yep. But yeah, I need I need these. I'm not I'm okay at this game. Oops. Other direction. Yeah, it looks Imagine like you're hood. going towards that hole in the wall. It didn't one of the Paper Marios kind of do this? Yeah, because you could like switch between what dimension you were expressed in in kind of a weird way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also like Fez. Except for in Fez, you got the ability almost immediately. This is kind of like the, the fifth act super twist. Eesh. Mm hmm Oh, wait. There's a definitely a potion all the way down that narrow corridor. Yup. I like this. Mm hmm I... Well, I, I had an inkling that it was going to do the whole hero cycle being part of something greater, like, yeah, having to take his place and whatnot, but... Then, of course, there's always the, is it all the design of something else? And it could have been one of those things where, wasn't that the never-ending story? Or what happened in the never-ending story? The whole, if people stop sharing the story, the world dies? Yeah. And it's sort of like those other entities or beings where if people stop believing them in them or telling stories about them, they perish as well. Yep. So I thought it was something where... 
if the cycle of hero and villain ceases to exist and there's no reason for a person to play a game anymore, you know, they, they cease to exist. Yeah. So, sorry. I mean, maybe gulped a little bit too loud there. Mm -hmm. um, cool. But in this case, it might be a whole... I don't know if the puzzle man is... Oh, that's oh. interesting. What is that? Just you interacting with yeah. the physical walls. Yeah, if I bump into it, it goes... Bob, 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 bob. I but I wanted to get the potion first. Mm -hmm. Yep, don't, don't need to jump into the portal yet. How many potions does that put us at? Seven. Ah. I hope it saved right before this. Mm. Oh Ooh. boy. Oh, it's the hands. So you're gonna do that smacking business like you have at the end of Super Smash Brothers? Possibly, yeah. Or Bongo Bongo. You look kind of different. I have no script, no objectives, no goals. You have disrupted my meaning. I end. Oh, don't worry. We'll give you an end, all right. In this world, I can touch you. Well, we can hurt you too, pal. There is no point anymore. I will erase your world. I will erase you. <laughs> Do the punch. Not sure when he becomes vulnerable. Oh, that's really disconcerting. I don't like it when, you know, the sound travels from one ear to the next. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, definitely discombobulating, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like it at <laughs> all. I like it when it's used sparingly in particular tracks. There was this one track in Mist for the Mist soundtrack for Uru, where it did this fun thing where it went, womp, 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 and the whole, like, womp, womp, it traveled from one ear to the next. Oh, and that it was really hat's cool. coming for me next. Oh, no, it's going to... Wait, a dike? Okay, don't bump the dice. Don't bump the dice. I was hoping I could interact with it in some way. What about the blue die? Oh. Look like it can Are those gonna attack you? Wait, ow. Ow. What the? What is even going on? They're activating some kind of field. There's a little bit of health. Maybe you're supposed to stay on the blue die? I don't know. Because, like, the, the dies are safe when they're blue. Mm hmm. Yeah, you might wow. want to get on them. Okay. The question is how do you attack him? Maybe he glitches out at this point and then I can hit him? Can you use a oh, slingshot? Oh. How do we defeat this thing? He's literally out of our reach. I don't know how long we can last like this. Huh? I'm afraid to say this, but 
This might be the end, kid. This is the end. No! I refuse! I believe in them. Oh. We b believe in them too! I do too. Do it, you guys! Defeat that six-faced fiends, uh, lads. You're too rude and stubborn to lose. You have fought honorably, and you deserve to be victorious. Defeat that evil monster, Mascarita. You can do it. You are true heroes. Yay, yes, do it. do it. Save us, Save you, us fools. you fools. We believe. We believe. Kick his butt! <sighs> Our friendship. Kid, look! What is that thing? Looks like you can step on it. Oh, it worked! Oh, it's their comment. Great trust in champions. Champions win for sure. Look, more of these things are showing up. It seems like you can grab them and place them in front of you with the X button. If you use three of these to climb up, you'll be able to reach that monster. I was close to giving up, but we can't let the wishes of our friends go to waste. Let's stop this monster once and for all. Oh, that looks good. You can slash. Uh, does he fight back? It might be one of those things where you injure him enough that... Well, there's a little resource in the top right corner. There you go. Ow. You're gonna have to jump. Oh, you weren't on the right plane. Yep. Okay, fight begins for real. So you're going to have to place these all the while dodging him? <laughs> Though I don't know if you'll be able to attack him unless uh, he's okay, so expended. Okay, so they can get me through that. Probably not. Oh. Oh, there's the hat. Oh, this is inconvenient. Ooh. This is definitely one of the most interesting final boss battles I've ever seen. Oh, he's going to punch. Ow. It's hard to tell with the different planes, but... Yeah. Yeah, you had another. Doesn't look like I can do much. There, stuff. there we go. Now he's exposed. It's just because he had to glitch out again. Yep. Beat him, guys! You're my heroes. What the hero kid with the scarf is saying. Yep. Scarfe. Okay, I figured that wouldn't be the end. No! <laughs> what is that? The one one oh one oh one oh one. It's the um. Uh, it's the. Uh, if you're if you've played Age of Empires, that's the that's the mind control. Oh. Sounded. <laughs> <laughs> so I kicked his uh, I kicked his head even harder faster because I cranked all that damage up. I think that fight was supposed to be much much longer, but because I'm the w most one trick pony I could ever go with. All right. Hmm. Uh, we did it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. I know you can do it. You guys are the best. Yes, take that, you treacherous cube. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without your help. But... I don't think we could go back now. Oh. It's okay. There is a portal thing here. But it doesn't seem to lead back to our world. Hmm. We are going to find our way home. We promise. <laughs> don't worry about us. We will be back before you know it. Uh. Goodbye! Wait! What? Hey! Where did you go? Answer me! Elizabeth? Green boots? Say something! Hey! Hey! P princess I think they're... <laughs> gone! Maybe a sequel bait. Who knows? So where are they gonna go out the other side of the portal? Oh. Hello, Elizabeth Greenboots. I just wanted to tell you that we are doing well. After Stitches was defeated, I took control of his castle. I decided to give his minions a good reason to live, and I know how much they love fighting, so now they're part-time heroes. I find them honest jobs, so they can fight for justice. Under heroes, heroes for hire. It's their decision, of course. Some of them decide to live more relaxed lives. We were able to free those trapped inside the clone factory, too. They will need to readjust, of course, but they'll be fine. So apparently the binary said puzzleman.exe has stopped working. That's uh -huh. cute. King Timothy went back home to his queen. Alexa never leaves his side. He's recovered most of his memories, too, but his mind still splits in two occasionally. Aww. I don't know how they'll make it work, but I think they'll manage. Baron Von Gregory has mellowed out a lot since you left. After merging back with Handy, he seems happier. Bella even convinced him to leave the manor and go travel so his mind could heal. Her hidden agenda to go and see the world worked out pretty well. The sly candle. Uh-huh. Oh, I never told you I got El Salsarismo's help that- uh, the, How- I got to help us that day, that is. Long story short, I found him stranded on a deserted island. I offered him all the food he wanted, and he sprung back to life. He now works at the castle as a chef. Who would have thought that he had such a hidden talent? I guess making salsa wasn't his only passion. Well, he loves eating things, so... Mr. Stitches disappeared with Tiber. The last thing that they said was that they were going to find a way to bring you back. I owe them. Stitches said. No one has seen them since. I know this letter won't reach you, but writing it makes me feel better. I hope that you're doing well, and I can't wait to see you again. I believe you'll find your way back home. Someday. See you soon. Princess Cereza. P.S. You still owe me a rematch, rival.
Our next adventure is about to begin. I don't know what we'll find beyond this void. But as long as we stick together, we'll be okay. Uh. Let's go, kid. I... I mean... Drank. Let's go, Drank. Drank! Oh. Oh. Seems like this is it, the end of the cycle. We can't go back to our world, back to our friends, but I think that's okay. Ellie and I did terrible things after all. If we ever come back, I want to feel like we earned it. Like we did the right thing. For the first time in this adventure, I really want to be a hero. I don't know what lies ahead, but I hope we'll see each other soon. Take care, everyone. Oh, so this is how he wrote the whole adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole thing's written out like a journal. It's actually quite well done. Too bad we didn't actually read them all. Oh, we never actually finished the walk on the beach and seashells. Oh. Oops. Oops. There's a lot. I mean, we could read it. It's just a lot. Mm-hmm. That would be more like a recap of the This would be, adventure. yeah, this would be a whole recap of the entire okay. adventure. It's fun. It's, I mean, it's well written. But I think this last page is the only one that actually really matters. Mm-hmm. Ish, sort of. But yeah, it, they really were recaps. So he did do something about the I'm sorry and his own personal thoughts. It really humanizes him. Yeah. This is a wonderful game. Uh, I put it in the same classification as Wander Song, as Nefarious. Mm -hmm. What else? There's been a couple like this. There's been a number of games where they explore whether or not, in order to be a hero, you truly need to harm others. Um, if it's the right way, like you know, the power, of friendship, even villains are capable of doing good. Doing good, having less selfish like how they're actually able to care for their compatriots minions if you will you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i'm actually kind of glad they sequel baited there maybe i wouldn't mind playing a follow-up to this i do wonder what world they've gone to if it is a world beyond the game because it, it they were in yeah. a 3d realm with code yeah i don't know I had fun. I liked the gameplay a lot. It was awkward. I was bad at it. It was a very unique combat system. It was very engaging, yeah. It was a lot better than just like button mash to success and so on and so forth. I really liked how we had Handy and... Was it Bella was the candle? Was it? Yeah. How they were additional characters that traveled with us on top of yeah they weren't just Elizabeth. a puzzle solving that they didn't just leave us after that second world but they actually stuck through for the rest of the game yeah and i enjoyed the different world themes it was interesting having i mean usually you have the forest and the volcano but the haunted castle was something different yeah yeah, liked I liked all the ghosts that wanted to party and the weird mini games like the ice skating and what were some of the other ones? The sliding down the volcano. Yeah. I would like to. I I want to see more games by these people because they did a did a good job. I I hope they did well. Well enough to do like another another game. I don't know. I want to see more games like this. Because, <laughs> like, and I feel bad that we had that, like, two-week break. Uh, yeah. Between recording. That was, it started with your family visiting and us not being able to record. And then after that, it was my hand hurt and I didn't want to do any for a little bit. I missed this already. I miss it, too. Oh, CrossCode. I put this in the same vein as CrossCode. Even if CrossCode's a little bit more, like, mechanically deep. Uh, it's still kind of that, like... Very human. Mm -hmm. Very earnest stories. Yeah, and I really did enjoy the puzzles that they did have, even with the whole, like, 2D platforming sense. Yeah. Um, like the whole section with dropping the key. 
in <laughs> using portals. Yeah, that was like cute. The, not the portals. Um, using the levers and such. That was unique. Uh, once again, just the quirky characters. I've been finding that a lot lately. Indie games have been having really quirky casts of characters. Things have been a bit more colorful and lighthearted. I think it's because a lot of them realized that by having a quirky, likable cast or even side characters and whatnot, it makes it more interesting. You know how, like, um, we were playing I Am Setsuna and I was refusing to talk to all the uh, townspeople? Mm -hmm. But in Wander Song, I talked to every single one of them up to a certain point where I couldn't anymore because it was just too much. Mm -hmm. Um... And like this one, for example, I, I always felt guilty for for not actually, you know, talking to the characters because for me, it was so much more satisfying to hear what they had to say. And it was interesting and fun. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then once again, looping back to the whole just sort of like the messages regarding violence and how it isn't the answer and how sort com of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was the answer. It's how we beat 90% of the content in this game. It is, but... I killed babies. Oh, you mean the moth babies? <laughs> yeah, the little moth babies. But they address it. They yeah, address it. Yeah, I appreciate the fact that... They, they that drank terrible actually, things. Actually, and Elizabeth is like, oh, I shouldn't have ever forced you to fight. And I, I think this is the first time in a video game I've really seen a character kind of be like, oh, I, I messed up. Yeah, and then you have instances where all of the kids came to your aid because you had spared yeah, I their didn't, lives. Yeah, I didn't kill them. It would have and been interesting if I spared... I, if, if you I hadn't had the, spared any of them and them If I had the time, like, it would be kind of neat if there's a new game would plus that you could load up. Would Stitches have just annihilated you then? I don't know, yeah. but I, I'm thinking it would be hilarious to do, like, a new game plus with, like, hacks. Just have infinite money and, like, a high level and just run through throwing money at Want every single enemy. Want to see, enemy. yeah, if you could have bought out every single enemy. There was that one baby that had the upper hand. Oh yeah, that, that baby the deleted us. The one baby broke us. the world. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, and of course Undertale. I mean, I, I'm i leery to mention it just because Undertale, uh, you know, comparing this to Nefarious. It, I'd have to whatnot. admit, it's probably one of the games that started the trend of the... Like, I looked at the cast of Undertale, I'm like, what is this game? This doesn't it's, make sense. It's and... kind of weird, yeah. But then again, if you think about it, going back as far as Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Kazooie... Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo any those, of the Paper Mario games? The characters are um, nonsensical. You have talking toilets. Earthbound. Uh -huh. Earthbound. Earthbound's cast is nonsense. Mm -hmm. I think all of them kind of draw influence from Earthbound. Cool. Yeah, I hope these developers did well. Because I'd love <laughs> to see more games kind of in this vein. Because we need more quirky, endearing games that we remember. Because, like, some days I, like, I, I load up my playlist and I start going through it and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about all these games. I'm not going to forget about Nefarious. I'm not going to forget about Chroma Squad. I'm not going to forget about Underhero. Undertale. Wander Song. I think I might have already said that. Crosscode? I don't know. Anyway, th thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.